I contacted you because an uncle of mine I was very close to was murdered about 20 years ago. I'm looking for people that helped him and try to find them and basically hold them accountable. We were told we were being watched for a year and that he had a support group here, of course. And all I can remember seeing were his glasses that were blown off his head with spattered blood on them. He was creating fear among all abortion providers because nobody knew who was going to be the next victim. All of a sudden, I heard a bang. The person who shot me is almost certainly an anti-abortionist. You're either on Jim's side or you're on the side of the baby butcher, the people who rip babies apart. The second bullet went right into the back of the chair and if he had been sitting there, it would have gone through his heart. The way I reacted was I was going to figure out why Bart was dead. I was going to solve the puzzle. Who was the getaway driver? Who was there with him that night? Who helped him? In 1994, he wrote an op-ed. These people are expressing their freedom of expression, but don't be surprised when one of the more fragile-minded, like, shoots a provider. They're not fighting for women. They're not fighting for babies. They're not fighting for any of that. They're fighting for control. Do you think it could happen again in today's America? I only wish that we could have prevented it. This call is from a federal prison. Begin speaking now.